सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर नाइन पर्सनैलिटी डिवेलपमेंट थ्रू योगा नाइन पॉइंट वन इंट्रोडक्शन पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड नाइनटीन नाइन पॉइंट वन इंट्रोडक्शन डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ पर्सनैलिटी इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट इशू पर्सनैलिटी स्टार्ट डिवेलपिंग सिंस बर्थ but it assumes great importance during adolescence when reorganization of personality takes place personality is a very common term which is used in our day to day life it tells us what type of person one is we know that each person generally behaves consistently in most of the situations the examples of this consistency can be seen in a person who remains friendly or a person who is generally kind or helpful in most situations such a consistent pattern of behavior is termed as personality it can be called as the sum total of behavior that includes attitudes emotions thoughts habits and traits this pattern of behavior is characteristic to an individual there are various dimensions of personality these dimensions are related to physical emotional intellectual social and spiritual aspects of our behavior for a holistic personality development yoga plays an important role 9.2 yoga and personality development yogic practices are found effective for development of all dimensions of personality Let us talk about the yogic practices that influence development of different dimensions of personality. Yoga and physical dimension of personality. Physical dimension is related to our body. It means that all organs and systems of our body should be properly developed and function. It implies a healthy body without any disease. Yogic practices like asan pranayam and band play a beneficial role in physical development of children there is a series of asans and pranayams which help to improve the functioning of the body yoga and emotional dimension of personality yogic practices are effective for development of emotional dimension related to our feelings attitudes and emotions There are two kinds of emotions positive and negative for example love kindness are positive emotions while anger and fear exam phobia are negative emotions page number 120 similarly our feelings and attitudes may be positive and negative for emotional development positive feelings attitudes and emotions should be developed and negative ones should be controlled as the negative attitudes and emotions work as a mental block for the development of personality yoga plays a critical role in development of positive emotions it brings emotional stability it helps to control negative emotions yogic practices such as yam niyam asan pranayam pratyahar and meditation help in emotional management for example the principle of non violence will protect us from negative emotions and develop positive feelings of love and kindness similarly other principles of yam and niyam will help to develop positive emotions and attitudes in our personal and social life and therefore help in the management of emotions yoga and intellectual dimension of personality intellectual development is related to the development of our mental abilities and processes such as critical thinking memory perception decision making imagination creativity etc development of this dimension is very important as it enables us to learn new things and acquire knowledge and skills yogic practices such as asan pranayam 
धरना ध्यान मेडिटेशन हेल्प टू डिवेलप कॉन्सेंट्रेशन मेमोरी एंड देर बाय हेल्प इन इंटेलेक्चुअल डिवेलपमेंट योगा एंड सोशल डायमेंशन ऑफ पर्सनैलिटी प्राइमरी सोशलाइजेशन probably the most important aspect of the personality development takes place during infancy usually within the family by responding to the approval and disapproval of parents and grandparents and imitating their examples the child learns the language and many of the basic behavior patterns of his or her society the process of socialization is not limited to childhood but continues throughout life and teach the growing child and adolescent about the norms and rules of the society in which she or he lives some key elements of this process include respect for others listening carefully to other persons being interested in them and voicing your thoughts and feelings politely honestly and clearly so that you can be easily heard and understood principles of yum include these key elements and are very important as these help us in the betterment of our relationships with our friends parents teachers and others yoga and spiritual dimension of personality this dimension is related to the development of values it is also concerned with self actualization which is related to recognizing one's potential and developing them to the maximum page number 121 proper development of this dimension helps the person to realize one's true identity for spiritual development yam niyam pratyahar and dhyan meditation are helpful yam and niyam help to develop our moral values while pranayam and meditation help us to realize our true self introspection is very effective for the development of self yam restraint and niyam observance yam and niyam are principles which need to be adopted always in our day to day life these can be considered as the universal codes of conduct that help us in following high standards in our personal and social life principles of yam are concerned with one's social life while the principles of niyam are concerned with one's personal life yam and niyam are part of ashtang yog the five principles of yam are ahimsa non violence satya truthfulness aste non stealing brahmacharya abstinence and aparigraha non collectiveness the five principles of niyam are shauch cleanliness santosh satisfaction tapas austerity swadhyay study of good literature and knowing about the self and ishwar pranidhan dedication to the god or supreme power 9.3 yogic practices for personality development we begin with surya namaskar prepare the body by performing yogic micro practices 9.3.1 surya namaskar sun salutation surya means sun and namaskar means salutation or bowing down it consists of 12 postures The regular practice of Surya Namaskar helps improve blood circulation throughout the body and maintain health and thereby helps one to remain disease free. Postures practiced during Surya Namaskar act as a good link between warm-ups and asanas. Surya Namaskar should preferably be done at the time of sunrise. It can be done any time on an empty stomach. However, morning is considered to be the best time for it adolescents should start doing surya namaskar daily to have healthy body and mind page number 122 let us perform surya namaskar by following the steps given below step 1 stand erect with legs together and hands by the sides of the body 
Bring both the arms to the chest with palms together in the prayer posture. Namaskar Asan Step 2. Inhaling, raise both the arms above the head. Stretching bend the trunk backwards. Hastottanasan Step 3. Exhaling, bend the trunk forward and place the hands on the floor besides the feet and forehead near the knees. Padhastasan Step 4. Inhaling, stretch the right leg backward and bend the left leg at the knee. Tilt the head backward and look up while arching the spine. Ashwasanchalanasan Step 5. Stretch the left foot backward by the side of right foot. Lower your head and move buttocks upwards. Keep arms and legs straight and heels on the floor. Parvatasan Step 6. Lower the knees, chest and chin to the floor. Keep the hips slightly up. The toes, knees, chest, hands and chin should be touching the floor. Ashtang Namaskar Step 7. Lower the hips. Raise the head and torso up to the navel region. Bend the head backwards. Bhujangasan Image number 1 shows how Namaskar Asan should be done. Image 2 depicts how Hastottanasan should be done. Now moving forward to image number 3. Image 3 depicts how Padhast Asana should be done correctly. Moving on to image number 4. Image number 4 shows how Ashwasanchalan Asan has to be done. Now moving on to image number 5. Image number 5 shows how Parvat Asan should be done correctly. Page number 123. Image number 6 shows how Ashtang Namaskara should be done. Now, moving on to the next image, image number 7. Image number 7 shows how to do Bhujangasan. Step 8. Lower the head and trunk to the floor. Now, raising the buttocks and straightening the arms, bring feet towards the head. Head should be between the arms. Come to the position 5. Parvatasan Step 9. By bending the left leg, bring it to the front between the hands. Take the right leg behind with knee touching the floor. Keep palms on both the sides of the left foot and head tilted backward and back arched. Look up. Ashwasanchalanasan Step 10. Exhaling, bring the right leg forward and keep it by the side of the leg. Keep the hands on the floor, on sides of the feet and head, near the knees. Padhastasan Image number 8 shows how Parvat Asan should be done. Now moving on to the next image, image number 9. This depicts how Ashwasanchalan Asana has to be done. Now moving on to the next image. Image number 9. Image number 9 shows how Ashwasanchalan Asan has to be done. Image number 10 is a repetition of image number 3. Image number 3 and 10 show how Padhast Asan has to be done. Page number 124. Step 11. Inhaling, raise both the arms above the head and bend the trunk backwards. Hastottan Asan. Step 12. Come to the erect and straight position. Join both palms in prayer posture. Namaskar Asan. Image number 11 shows how Hastottan Asan has to be done correctly. And now finally moving on to the last image, image number 12. Image number 12 shows how Namaskar Asan should be done. Now let's discuss the benefits of doing Surya Namaskar. It helps to increase strength endurance and flexibility. It regulates all the systems of the body. It improves concentration. It helps in removing excess fat. It helps in constipation and improve blood circulation in the body. It energizes the body. It helps in increasing the height of the growing children and toning up the body. It revitalizes the body and refreshes the mind. 
it stretches abdominal organs and improves digestion. Limitation One should avoid practicing Surya Namaskar in case of high blood pressure, fever, heart diseases, hernia, slipped disc, intestinal tuberculosis and sciatica. You were just listening to this audiobook. Narrator Neeraj Yadav Technical Coordinator Bati Langlingdo Sound Recordist Vikas Sangwan Assistance in Production Ruchi Sharma Directed and Produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT New Delhi, India